The bearded bios. Hi hey guys, better late than never. As promised, I'm going to do the firmware update video here um, on the Samsung Odyssey G7. So we'll go straight into it. Apologies about the delay, but go onto the OSD, hit the bottom button underneath the monitor, go to support and go to software update. You can see your current version there. So I'm on the MTG 700 CCAA 101.4.1. Um, if you go into that, if you have the USB plugged at the back, it will come up the next step, but we need to go to the website here and get any up firmware updates. Only recommend updating this if you're having issues. If you're not, I wouldn't bother updating your firmware. Let's go over to the website. What you want to do is you want to go over to the Samsung website. So even if you type in Samsung G7 firmware, something like that, if I could spell would help. And you go to the first link there, that's I have a 27 inch G7. There is different regions, you just keep a wee out um, oh, oh, your region and things like that there, but should be grand. So firmware update, user manual. No, the firmware file is what you're looking for. Firmware file. So, so I'm downloading that there at the moment. Open up. <clears throat> okay, so you see there it's a bin file, all right. Um, back that. We go over to the folder it's in and it'll be there as the bin folder. So what you need to do is get your USB prepped and you need it formatted in FAT32. We'll go ahead and do that now. I have plugged in my USB, there's stuff on it here. So um, I want to reformat it. So right click on it, go to format. Um, make sure it's FAT32, it should be the default. And hit quick formats fine, hit start. We'll erase all data, you want to do that. You have to do that. Let it finish, cleared, right. And then if I go over to my downloads, and that's where I've done the extractive folder, copy or command and C, control C, copy the bin file over. Um, and that should be good to go. As long as it's been extracted, there should be no issues and the USB's been formatted. Get your USB ready. And I'm gonna plug it into the back here. Guys, I was going to update the firmware as planned here but i've got this mad rgb set up the back and essentially it's not thinking forward i have covered the wee panel you would for this video i'm not going to do it but there's a us there's usb ports underneath there plug it in and then you go to the first part of the video which is essentially the usd menu support software update and as soon as you hit that if your usb's in that will say it'll it'll launch straight into it or i think i'll ask you to if you want to go ahead and you say yes and that'll be your firmware update as long as you don't give a power cut you'll have no issues um unfortunately i'm not doing it in this video because of my rgb setup but uh, stay tuned guys there will be more videos coming